today is another bright new day that the Lord has made and we are going to rejoice in it and be glad in it as we study His Word. And like always, we're going to be explaining another often confusing question. So I hope you've got a pen, a paper, and your Bible. And let's get started. Let me ask one question. Why did God love Jacob and hate Esau? The Bible tells us this in Malachi 1 verse 3 and also Romans 9 verse 13. Have you ever asked yourself this question? Why did God love Jacob and hate Esau? Now let's go to Malachi uh, 1 to, uh, to 3 and we see the Bible declaring that uh, I have loved you. I have loved you, says the Lord. But you ask, how have you loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? The Lord says, yet I have loved Jacob, but Esau I have hated. And I have turned his mountain into a wasteland and left his inheritance unto the desert jackals. And likewise, you see Malachi 1 verse 3 and uh, is basically quoting Romans 9, 10 to 13, which says, Not only that, but Rebekah's children had one and the same father, our father Isaac. Yet before the twins were born or had done anything good or bad, in order that God's purpose in election might stand, not by works, not by him who calls, she was told, The older will serve the younger. Just as it is written, Jacob I have loved, but Esau I have hated. Hmm. So why did God love Jacob and hate Esau? If God is love, the Bible tells us that God is love. 1 John 4, 8, the Bible says, He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. So now, if God is love, why could he hate anyone? Friends, you have to understand when studying the Bible, it is critically important to always study the context of a particular Bible verse or passage. And in these instances, the prophet Malachi and the apostle Paul are using the name Esau to refer to the Edomites who were the descendants of Esau. Isaac and Rebekah had two sons, Esau and Jacob, and God chose Jacob, who he later renamed Israel, to be the father of his chosen people, the Israelites. And God rejected Esau, who was also called Edom, and uh, he did not choose him to be the father of his chosen people. Esau and his descendants, the Edomites, were in many ways blessed by God, Think about Genesis chapter 33, verse 9. All right? It says, And and Esau said, I have enough, my brother. Keep that thou hast unto thyself. Mm -hmm. So, considering the context, God is loving Jacob and hating Esau. But uh, this has nothing to do with the human emotions of love and hate. It has everything to do with God choosing one man and uh, his descendants and rejecting another man and his uh, descendants. God chose Abraham out of all the men in the world. The Bible well could have said, Abraham I loved and every other man I hated. God chose Abraham's son Isaac instead of Abraham's son Ishmael. Why? Because that was the plan of God. And the Bible very well could say Isaac I loved and Ishmael I hated because Romans chapter 9 makes it quite clear that loving Jacob and hating Esau was entirely related to which of them God chose there are hundreds of years we see later on after Jacob and Esau had died the Israelites and Edomites became bitter enemies and the Edomites often aided Israel enemies in attacks on Israel and likewise uh, we see Esau's descendants brought God curse among themselves 
Genesis 27 verse 29 tells Israel, May nations serve you and people bow down to you. Be Lord over your brothers and may the sons of your mother bow down to you. May those who curse you be cursed and those who bless you be blessed. Now do you get the point? God does not hate, God is love. But then God has a plan for everything. He always chooses whom he wishes. He can choose one nation and not choose the other. He can choose one man and not choose the other. And that's what we need to understand. And that's the end of our today's Bible study lesson. Hope it was a blessing to you. Hope you've learned something. You can always uh, download this podcast to listen later offline or to share to your friends and family. And please don't forget to favorite and subscribe to our channels to always be notified whenever we post a new podcast. And if you'd like to support this ministry, please you can do so in the descriptions, uh, the details in the description below. Otherwise, hope to see you in the next one.